This tutorial is going to talk about how to create a plan view and section export uh, from SketchUp uh, using the companion program Layout. We we'll use Layout to put it on a template, in this case an 11 by 17, put it to a known scale, be able to export that for use in other programs like Photoshop or to print it out and hand draw on top of it. Now there's a few things you want to do in SketchUp before you bring it into Layout uh, just to make things easier on the back end. The first thing that we're going to do is create some scenes. And if you've never created scenes before, you're just going to go to Window and Scenes. When you frame up a view you like, you just hit the plus sign in the Scenes dialog. Uh, and you can see here I've created several. Now all of these, or most all of these, are in a perspective mode. But in our case, we want to do a plan view and a section cut. So what we're going to have to do is we'll sort of turn off the shadows to make things a little easier to navigate. We'll orbit up, and what we're going to do is go to our camera. We're going to change it from whether it's on two-point perspective or perspective to parallel projection. And this is essential if you're going to do a plan view or a section or section elevation. Once we've uh, put it in parallel projection, we're going to use our standard views. I've got mine in my toolbar up here to do a top view. We can zoom out or zoom in as far as we want uh, just to set up that view. In this case, I'm going to pan over to see most of the site right here. Now you can see I'm still using the style that I used for my perspective. We want to change that to one that is a little more uh, in line with a technical drawing that you'd see for a plan and section. So in that case, I'm actually going to go to Window and Styles, open up my Styles dialog. And there's a lot that can use. It really is dependent on you know, the intricacies of your model, what scale you're working at. In my case, I'm just going to choose one that I've already got in here. I think this one's going to suit me well. Uh, so I'll set this first scene right here. I'll orbit to uh, navigate to where I can still be in my top view. I might even hit that just to confirm. I'm going to go to my camera, verify that it's in parallel projection, and close out my styles, go back to my scenes, and create a new one. Instead of scene 16, we'll just call this uh, overall plan view. Then might zoom in a little bit closer on this courtyard that we've got here. We'll add in another scene call this one courtyard plan. Now in the case of a section, we actually need to create a section cut line. You can see I already have a plane in here uh, that's showing up and I just need to activate it. I've already done that in a section that I've already saved as a scene. I click here. Went back to my previous style. Have that section cut in there by going to tools and, and then section plane to create the section plane. And then you can show these section planes and section cuts in the view, or in my case, I want to uncheck the plane. So I just have the cut, but not the actual plane that's in there. I've also saved this as a scene so I can easily access it uh, when I'm in layout. Now, once you've established these scenes and you've set the styles that you like, it's time to open up layout. This is by default what you'll see. I'm going to go to more templates though, and we can look at a few different templates that we've got here. There's basic graph paper and plain paper, and as I mentioned, we're going to put this on a tabloid or 11 by 17. But I want to go over to title block. You'll see there's a range of title blocks in here. Some of these are helpful. Some aren't as good as the others. In this case, I'm just going to click on this tabloid one right here. Now in layout, you're also going to have different windows. You can see that ones I have open, pretty much all of these over here. Uh, you're going to see that that template comes in. You'll be able to update it uh, based on whatever your project title, location, author, and of course they've got different uh, fields on different templates. But really for me, the next thing that I'm going to do is to go to File, Insert. This allows me to navigate to my SketchUp model and actually insert this in. Now depending on how complex your model is, it might take a little bit of time to insert this in. It's going to work a lot like paper space and model space inside of AutoCAD. Uh, in this case, we've got essentially paper space or a layout right here. And we've uh, got our viewport, our little hole that's cut in the paper that views into uh, the SketchUp model in this case. I'm going to extend this opening by grabbing both the corners and stretching them and snapping them to this frame. Now, in this case, I'm actually viewing the first view that we started with because I actually haven't saved the SketchUp file, but we'll come back to that in just a second. You can see that I've got this view right here, and I can actually navigate around uh, my different scenes, my different perspectives. We do that inside of the window called SketchUp Model, which allows us to see these scenes and do different standard views in here. Now another uh, really important part of layout is the Pages tab. You can see most of these templates actually come with a cover page, you see right here, then sort of your standard page that's a little more streamlined on the title block. 
you want to duplicate that and do multiple views, you can just click this, duplicate this selected page. You can have set up multiple pages with different views on there. Now for me, I need to come back to our SketchUp model window right here. And I'm going to click back on this viewport and change it down to uh, our plan view. Now, it's not in here because we didn't set uh, our newest plan view uh, until after we'd opened that previous SketchUp model. But what we can do is go back to the SketchUp model, say File, Save, come back to Layout, and update this model by clicking on this refresh circle right here. Once you do this, you'll notice that uh, some of our new scenes in here, including overall plan view and the courtyard plan, uh, have both made an appearance in this little pull down. So we'll click on the overall plan. It'll switch styles and switch to that view. Now you can see right here it puts it to a what's called current scale which is whatever your scene was set at but we have a whole laundry list of things and what's nice about the current scale is it usually puts it uh, somewhere near uh, where it might actually be useful. So in this case we're going to change it to 1 to 60 or we could go to even as far in as 1 to 40 or 1 to 50. Now if we flip to our courtyard plan, we can also zoom in over here to our courtyard plan, set that view, and of course change that scale to uh, let's say 1 to 10. Now whether it's in plan view or section, you might notice that some things uh, work really well in layout and they show up really well using the style, in this case uh, the pattern on the ground plane, but the trees not so much. And uh, in 2020 it actually refers to uh, what was layers in 2019 and earlier in SketchUp is now tags. And so you can see right below here we've got the tags in here and I can actually roll down to the tags for my trees and just turn those off uh, if I want to in here. Also people, I can see that they are just flat planes but in this case they look like little lines on here so I'm going to find the people, also turn them off as well. If I feel good about this, I might go down to pages right here, duplicate this page. So now I've got my courtyard plan on page two. I come back to page three. We'll click here, change this to our overall plan view. Change the scale to one inch equals 50 feet. I'll save this as one of my exports as well. Finally, I'm going to add a third view. Go to my section cut right here. We'll click back on. You've got to click on the uh, active viewport in this case I'll refer to it as a viewport similar to AutoCAD um, but if I double click inside of it now I'm actually inside I can pan around if I needed to uh, just to frame up the view just right in this case I'm going to double click back outside of it click only on it only once and go from our overall plan to our section cut view in this case I want to turn back on the people as well as my trees what you'll notice is because we got to click on the active viewport, it turns those tags back on here. But if we go back to our plan view, it keeps all those tags turned off here. Now there's some additional things that you can do in your SketchUp model that might help, especially these section cuts. You might have to clean up some of the line work underneath your model that doesn't really show up or where that section cut uh, runs through buildings and it kind of you see the inner workings of the buildings. Maybe that works for your drawing or maybe you need to uh, go back into SketchUp and polish it up there. Uh, you can even export it to Photoshop, uh, polish it up here, or simply if you're using this to trace on top of and do a sketch on top of it, um, it doesn't matter what it looks like. At this point, we're ready to export. All we're going to do is go to File and Export. In this case, what we're going to do, we'll export it as uh, a PDF, but we can also do JPEGs, uh, PNG files as well. You can click on Options here just to see, and in our case we're going to do all pages, but really I don't need that first page, so I'm just going to say pages 2 to 4. Change the resolution, and, you know, you can base that off of uh, you know, what, how quick you need it or what type of project you're working on. We'll say OK. We'll just give it a name. We'll say uh, Test Exports. At this point, it has exported this information. Uh, it has put it to the scale that we uh, desired. Uh, and you can see it's a three-page PDF right here. Now, some additional things that you'd probably want to consider is uh, potentially putting in a scale bar, uh, some other notations that kind of help on this. But this is just the, uh, the basic steps for using layout to uh, put your SketchUp model into plan and section to create scaled exports for uh, printing or for use in another program.